thing that I said I was gonna do. So I just saw La La Land, and I figured that's as good of an impulse as any to start this thing. So I don't know if anyone's gonna watch this, but here I am, I'm doing it. I feel like there's a lot of resources out there, like vlogs and stuff, about people who have been through this and have maybe made it out the other side and are giving advice and this is not that. I mean, if you get advice out of this, then like, chill, but I am struggling and if you are struggling too, maybe this will just help you feel less alone. Um, it's not a, this is how to navigate the acting world because I totally have no idea how to do that. So I graduated less than a year ago. We had a showcase um, in front of agents and managers and casting directors and I got zero calls. Zero emails. So that was the start of my jumping into the real world of acting. We've always known that it's going to be a struggle and people always tell us it's not easy but you know everything still hurts. Since then I've basically just been submitting myself to things, going on various auditions, I use a website called Model Mayhem to find lots of independent photographers to do photo shoots with. Pretty much anything that makes me feel like I'm doing things, that I can show off on social media to validate that I'm doing things. So as far as agents and stuff, I have a giant Excel file of agents and another one of managers. <laughs> Names and emails that I've collected through my internship at a casting office, my business of acting class. Um, it's just a giant list. And I've been slowly going through it, submitting to all of the places that take submissions. I also followed up with people that attended our showcase. I ended up meeting with one of them. I don't want to use any names here because I haven't had any good experiences. So I ended up meeting with one. All she did was complain about how shitty our showcase was, didn't really care about me at all, and things did not work out. Nothing happened there. Um, my uncle also, he tried to maybe set me up with the West Coast division of his agency and they weren't very interested in me either. And then another place that I have submitted to, they followed up with me through email. They didn't really seem to have any interest in actually meeting, but they wanted to give me a like non-exclusive temporary like contract. It's not like the official like SAG contract that if we ended up liking working together, then we can move on to that. And I'm technically still like with them, but I have never once gotten an audition, heard from them, met with them, anything. So that is where I'm at as far as the agent world. <laughs> but that's okay. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I submit myself on backstage and actors access. I still need to get um, LA casting and a lot of other things. It's just that I don't have a lot of money. There's a podcast called Millennial that's, I, she was just very genuine of like, I don't have things together. You are on the journey with me. And if you care to watch everything fall apart, watch me make decisions, listen to me make decisions. It's a podcast. Just open up this struggling life to the rest of the world. I don't want this to be a performance. I feel like a lot of my social media is a performance. Like Instagram, I only post things that look good or like are cute or funny or whatever. But this, I just like, I want to be as genuine as possible. I mean, life is a performance. Everyone is performing all the time, but like I want it to be more real.